I'm Simon Sheather and you're watching Simon Says. As we are all navigating these challenging times, I'm here to share how we at the Gatton College are moving forward with our new normal, virtually. In this action-packed October edition, you'll get to join us at our annual Hall of Fame event, where I'm very excited for you to meet our amazing alumni inductees. You'll also see highlights from this year's Gatton State of the College meeting. And being October, it's officially spooky season. I'm going to vanish into thin air, which given my size is no mean feat. And I'll see you at the news desk. Thanks for watching, let's jump right in. Our Gatton State of the College event is a faculty and staff meeting held each year where we recap where our college is and where we're going. I'm very pleased to report that even in spite of this global pandemic, the State of the College is still great. This year, each of our Associate Deans presented to the college to give a rundown of where we are. First, you'll see Associate Dean Jennifer Siebenthorpe who will give a profile of our incoming freshmen. A big shout out to Jennifer and our Director of Recruitment, Rachel Clark. Here in Gatton, our incoming cohort is pretty much even with last year. And that is, is incredible simply because last year was a record year for both UK and for Gatton. Associate Dean Nancy Johnson shares information about our new Professional Resource Centre which offers support to all of our graduate programs. Once again, I'm delighted to report our numbers in each of the graduate programs are higher than the equivalent numbers last year. Finally, Nancy talks about our new master's program in supply chain. The good news is that overall graduate enrollment has increased dramatically really since 2013. So you can see it's almost doubled. As you can see by the color shifts, though, it's kind of changed in composition. So the turquoise represents, I guess that's turquoise or green, um, represents the evening MBA. You can see that's growing um, in, in the online portion. Associate Dean Paul Childs talks about some new online teaching methods that have been adopted by our faculty. Classroom technology usage has been increasing over the last two years. Instructors have worked hard to learn new hardware and software for an unprecedented period of innovation. Instructors have learned and applied many new approaches to delivering material. The IT staff has installed and maintained cutting edge hardware and software and supported its use. The instructional designers have provided creative ideas and instruction and help on how to most effectively use these new tools. And finally, Dr. Serenity Wright introduces a very important new initiative for the Gatton College, namely a diversity, equity and inclusion advisory board. The Dean has been very intentional and engaged in shifting the college to be more proactive regarding diversity, equity and inclusion initiatives and ensuring that we're really embedding these initiatives in the fabric of the college. Over the summer, Dean Sheather, myself, Dave, Associate Dean Scott Kelly, work to build a diversity, equity, and inclusion advisory board, which we are very lucky to have co-chaired by our prestigious Gatton alums. Um, our mentoring initiative has also doubled in size over the last year, serving all of our historically marginalized populations. A special thank you to Rich Brown and his team for a record of $31.8 million that has been raised from philanthropy in the last fiscal year. And then finally, I got to talk. Can you imagine me sitting through an hour of other people's presentation? And you can see it's a golf cart going uphill. I think it's really relevant to this time. All the faculty and staff have had to work much harder. And I say a great thank you. The only trouble with the, the image is the slope is not steep enough. I know personally, it feels like we've been going up a very, very steep hill. I'm so proud to be leading the Gatton College of Business and Economics. Huge thank you to everyone who has helped get us to where we are. I think it's time for an intermission. This is one of our marketing videos for our graduate programs. 
It's actually my favourite. It talks about the Master of Science in Finance program. And a shout out to Michelle Lowe. I hope she doesn't cut this out. Our Director of Marketing and Communications. I've always thought of myself as an innovator. Not just accepting what's always been. Big data, machine learning. I love how numbers can tell a story. I chose UK because of the MSF program. It's forward thinking. It makes me future proof. The modern world of finance. I knew I'd get that at UK. I didn't expect such diverse perspectives from students all over the world. In a city that constantly surprises me. I'll leave here with all the tools I need to imagine my own future. All because I found myself at UK. This month we had another virtual event, the annual Gatton Alumni Hall of Fame induction celebration. This event is always my favorite alumni event of the year. But being as it's normally a more intimate setting, we've never been able to host it publicly until this year. And when we got to travel all over the world virtually, yours truly got to wear what we call in Australia, a dinner suit. Originally, when we were planning this event, I thought it would be really fun to go to the Breakers in Palm Beach. Or maybe over to Apple in Cupertino. Or even down the road to Churchill Downs. One of the reasons I'm proud to be the Dean of the College is the unbelievable alumni this institution produces. I'm just amazed. So let me take a moment to brag on our amazing inductees. First up, Chad Dobson is this year's Distinguished Young Alumni Award winner. He's the Chief Accounting Officer at Churchill Downs in Louisville, Kentucky. And he loves Gatton's College so much, he's just enrolled in our MBA online program and started this program this semester. Paul Leone is the President and CEO of The Breakers, the largest family-owned luxury resort hotel in the country. This property is legendary. I had the great pleasure of staying there in the summer of 2016, even before I had any idea I'd end up as the Dean of a college at the University of Kentucky. Paul said that his Gatton education was a big catalyst for his success, and we're so proud of you, Paul. Finally, Nancy Paxton recently retired after a 35-year career at Apple, where she was the head of investor relations. She led 93 quarterly earnings calls, and since her arrival at Apple in 1986, the stock price has increased over 40,000% to where it is today. To watch the full Hall of Fame event, or to learn more about our amazing alums, visit the link here. We're sure glad you could join us for these events, and even though they weren't in person, we're glad technology allows us to remain connected to each one of you. Have a happy, safe and spooky Halloween, and don't forget to wear your mask. I'll see you next month, where we'll have plenty to be thankful for. We'll share some amazing stories of how our generous alumni and donors have reached out to give a helping hand to our students through the Gatton Persistence Scholarships Program. And we'll be wrapping it up for the fall semester just a little early this year. Thanks for watching, Simon Says. And until next time, be well and go Cats.